As we look to the week ahead, there is still a lot of fallout from COVID, particularly in our school systems in Virginia. It's conflict over mask mandates in Maryland. It's school systems grappling with testing in Prince George's County. Students are headed back to school after a two week pause on in person learning. Scott Broom is with us now to talk about more on what's ahead. Hi, Scott. Hi, well here at Lake Harbor Elementary and all the other schools in Prince George's, the kids will be coming back for the first time since Christmas break. How do you think it's going right now? I don't think it's going well. Prince George's parents today expressing relief and anxiety. Because it's children, I don't think that they practice safety well. So they put in other people at risk, they're putting me at risk at home, you know, I have to go to work. It's too soon to be, for me to send my son back to school. My youngest daughter is in high school. So she's going back to school. Schools in Prince George's County reopened Tuesday as the COVID spike appears to have crested in Maryland, according to the state's coronavirus dashboard. From a peak of more than 16,000 average new cases per day on January 8th, it's down to an average of 9,820 now. DC's rate is dropping now too, according to health department data. In Virginia, the average case rate has leveled off, health authorities report. In Prince George's County, Maryland, school CEO Dr. Monica Goldson said in a telephone town hall last week that the two-week pause on in-person learning here has helped. Unlike the surrounding jurisdictions that we have the opportunity to kind of watch navigate this COVID-19 experience, by allowing us to go virtual for these past two weeks, it provided us adequate time for any positive cases from the holidays to subside. Prince George's will give all students test kits and is asking parents to report results weekly. Goldson said a school bus driver shortage is expected to cause some disruptions. Meanwhile, next door in Montgomery County, authorities there warned before the weekend that a spike in teacher absences may force more schools this week to go virtual in Montgomery. Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich called the school crisis there a no win situation. So here in Prince George's, they come back and they do some testing in Montgomery. We worry about potentially more schools closing. Reporting live in Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, this combined with the potential for more snow, I think schools are going to be all over the place this winter. Scott Broom, thank you.